Okay, I may have got scammed by AliExpress, or we may have just bought the best price mountain biking accessories and upgrades you can find. Let's find out. So let's start with the story. On 11-11 is Singles Day. It's becoming a thing here in North America, and I went crazy and bought a bunch of cheap AliExpress mountain bike related stuff for dollars, pennies. It was ridiculous. And some of it's good stuff. We'll start with the one we can see. So I got this bicycle cleaning set. It is, uh, comes with a lot of stuff. It says maintenance for bicycle. Five professional brushes and one coral fleece grove. I don't know what that is, so I'm gonna open it up. And what it's come with is this cool like chain cleaner thing. I like this actually. Another chain cleaner thing. This grips onto this is actually foam grip. These are actually <clears throat> those are actually foam bristles. That would work well, and this will get into the cassette and get it really clean. Handles good. It's stiff. It's you know it's cheap plastic, but this is actually pretty good, and I, I like this. I'm not exactly sure what it's for. Like these are like a a soft medium grip, but I think they'll do well. We have another wire one, smaller. About the same texture as this one. Good. Um, a really terrible, okay, this is not the best. This on like the perk tool ones. Oh, well we got it, it looks like this. This may, maybe this is just grip them. Okay, perk tool makes one which looks like that. And you pay probably 20 bucks for it. This gets into all your cassettes, cleans it out. Works well, and this brushes it out. These are soft bristles, like works well. This just keeps ending, and this was like literally $3. This is amazing. A sweet hand mitt, it wraps, it's foam. It's firmer than I'd like. I don't know if I'd scrub my frame with that. Feels a little scratchy. Maybe this is for tires. I don't know. I wouldn't put this on my frame. These are actually pretty aggressive bristles. But this is a comfy design. Like, I, I think for tires, this would work really well. Another, a chamois glove. It's amazing. You can't go wrong with that. This would be a dollar here in America, Canada anyway. And we have an actual chain tool. So this looks cheaper than, cheaper than the park tool one. Not the most ergonomic by any means. A little stiff. Yeah, I mean, it'll, oh, that's broken. I broke it. Okay. Alright, so all the gears and cogs are just loose in there. Um, but you put your chain in there, just like the park tool one. It's even got one on top. Close it up. And then pull your chain through and it'll kind of brush it for you. Which, it'll probably do the job. It even has filler holes in the top if you were to buy some sort of solution to actually clean it with. You know, for like four or five dollars total or less if you're an American. This is good, this is a good buy. I couldn't not recommend this. I'll try and find the exact ones I had, put them in the link. I got them on sale, but there's Boxing Day sales coming up and they came super fast. Some of this stuff was here in like a week and a half. I don't even understand how it's possible how it got here this fast. Okay, these ones, I barely remember what I ordered. These ones are gloves. <clears throat> These are illegal knockoffs of Fast House called Fast Goose. It's really funny, the Fast Goose. As you know, the high quality, form fitting, two way stretch, rib back of hand. It, they honestly feel okay though. They probably, I always assume things like this come out of the exact same factory that the Fast House stuff comes out of. Um, I bought gloves off AliExpress before and I do find like the stitching and stuff come apart much faster than like the premium ones and then the padding on the underside here is definitely thinner so it's not as comfy. But these, these fit great, I like, I'll use these. And these unboxings are fun, I've never done one before, I've seen YouTubers do it. This is a Balani, oh, tire pry tools. So these were cheap too, like everything was like dirt cheap. And Name brand ones are not expensive here anyway. 
Okay, name brand ones aren't expensive anyway here, but these are like a dollar or something like that. You know, they feel good. <sighs> okay, they're tough, they're strong, they clip together, which is nice. Tie up ride tools from Baloney. Hey, Baloney! I bought multiple tools. <clears throat> this is more tools. Oh, this is weird. Okay, so this is a whole different... Same one. This is the same. It's exactly the same. The black levers are exactly the same. These came out of the exact same mold. And this is exactly the same. Okay, so I ordered them differently, but they are the exact same. Which again, quality wise, they seem good. <clears throat> they actually came from the same, they actually come from the same factory. Who really cares? Tools are tools. It's good news. Okay, so these, this is good, this is good. And this is the first time AliExpress ever actually shipped me something. Like I ordered like <clears throat> five different items and they bagged them in one bag and then shipped it to me instead of getting like 13 different bags, which is cool. This, I was kind of excited about. These are a knockoff 100%. Now, I've had the real ones, and these are heavier than them, but it's not like they're heavy by any means necessary. Oh, okay. A little narrow fitting on the nose. You know, they fit okay. I don't know if they just fit a little high or if I'm just not in the, like in the more of a road biking one. Fit and finish isn't as nice as the 100% ones, but they look the part from a distance, no one will know. Okay, this one isn't bike related. This one, it was $2. It was actually one of the more expensive things for the size of it, and I decided I had to have it. It was calling to me. It was requesting me to buy it. This is the one ring. <laughs> This is the one ring, so <clears throat> it's got markings on it from the Lord of the Rings. It's shiny, it's gold. The writing on it is not perfectly in the middle. I bought cheap Chinese uh, jewelry before. This will tarnish very quickly and look like a piece of old brass you found in the woods. But. You can't deny the one ring's calling and not buy the one ring. Oh, there's still more. Okay, this is heavy. This is a multi-tool. <clears throat> so this one is one of the more fully loaded multi-tools. We actually have a chain tool in here. You know, I've bought one in the past from Evo and this is very similar to it, the like side piping with the grip here, uh, the chain tool, everything is very similar. You have your standard Phillips, your T25, your flathead, a big eight mil, which is kind of cool. Not every single tool has an eight mil. And then you've got six, five, four, three, two, one. If you needed a multi-tool for five bucks, this would do it. We need a new knife. <clears throat> oh, good, good. <clears throat> These I was actually excited for. This is silicone grips. So they're like, you know, $30, $40 in name brand bike shops. And these feel just like them. It's hard to tell. Yeah, these are definitely like the single ply ones. So <clears throat> they're not like the chunky or anything like that. They feel good. The knife didn't score it instantaneously, but these are pretty fragile anyway from the bike shop. These were a dollar as well, I'm pretty sure. These were dirt cheap. They come with end caps, which is a nice touch, and they actually wrap over the end. Hmm. They don't look even diameter. This one definitely looks a little bigger, but I don't think once it's on handlebar, you notice. It's got a soft finish too, compared to all the other ones kind of have a bubbly finish. This has like a, a heat seal over it or something, you know? It's hard to explain. This one, I think I know what it is, yeah. This one is our most valuable item here. 
And I, I will have to do more testing on this one. Ride Race. The Ride Race pork set. So this was $40. Oh, okay. Okay. I thought it was upside down, but no, everything's just fell out. Okay. So this is a multi tool torque set. So something like this one, it's very large. It's much bigger than I thought. Uh, a multi-tool set like this would probably be like $150, if not more, to get all the attachments. You know, this has an extender too, which is really cool. It has push release, so it's actually pretty good in that aspect. Um, I have it set at five, but... Oh. Okay then, it just span in the thing, it didn't even click. I have metal shards on me. We'll have to do more testing. I don't even, oh there it is. It is like a, quality looks good. That's a satisfying sound, sounds similar to some of the more professional tools I've had. It comes with a lot for $40, but we will have to do a follow up specifically on this one, comparing it and making sure that when you put five new meters, it's actually only doing that and that you're not gonna snap a bunch of bolts off or put them on way too tight, you can't take them off. So we'll confirm and find out whether this is actually accurate. And if it is, $40 for this whole set is ridiculously good. It comes with everything you need, all your torque stuff, big ones, little ones, Allen keys, the extender. You'd have a good tool here to last a lifetime. Mud flat. They're not expensive in North America, but yeah, this is the exact same. So this is from Mudguard, the company. All they make looks like carbon fiber. You poke out little holes, you bend it, and it'll work. I'm very happy with that. It's a piece of plastic. I mean, Muckoff even shows you how to make one out of the wash bottles. So let's not admit that there's anything fancy about this, but there was lots of different colors, which is kind of cool. Lots of different patterns, colors, designs like that. We are on to our last one. I don't have a single clue what it would be. Oh! Got everything in there? I ordered bacon strips. I thought I ordered a tool for it. Yeah, it totally could still be coming. Um, but I ordered those little bacon strips, I don't know if you can see them, the little bacon strips, which um, are for tubeless repairs, because these things are, you buy them in kits and they're like $40, they're super expensive, and you do the only, you get like two or three with the kit, and yeah, you're paying for the tool, but then you need the bacon strips. I, I could have sworn this was supposed to come with an applicator, but it's China and I could have misread it wrong and you only got sent the bacon strips. They look like the bacon strips. We'll take one out here. I've dealt with them before. Extremely sticky. Yeah, they've got some sort of like core to them so they stay firm. Yeah, these are straight up bacon strip things. Um, these will work. And now I have like a boatload of them. 5, 10, 15, 20 of them. So that's awesome. None of my multi-tools. I ordered a second multi-tool too. Okay, there's still more stuff coming apparently. I thought this was everything. No, I ordered a better multi-tool than this and I must have ordered the bacon strip applicators for this too. So there is still stuff missing. Or it's in all this packaging, I'll, I'll have a hunt through. Of everything we bought today, what is my most favorite setup? The like $5 big multi-cleaning set with all this stuff in it, I like. If this is a tire cleaner, this is cool. This will clean tires. This will clean your frame. You got your chain. It <clears throat> And this whole pack of like the big bulky one was literally like $5. Like, if you need a cleaning setup, this will do it. I'm sure quality over time, they won't last, but I don't know what would make them last better. This definitely doesn't look that good. But with all the other cleaning stuff and chain stuff, I'm pretty sure you gotta get it pretty clean anyway. The multi-tool, yeah, it's a multi-tool. I don't see anything wrong with it for cheap. I think you'll find yourself having fun with it. <laughs> all right, 
Hopefully this was somewhat entertaining. If you liked it, comment below if you've ever bought anything from China and what I should buy next. Um, overall, I got my one ring, I got my grips, I got my sunglasses. I think this was worthwhile doing. And I'm gonna wait for the next Black Friday Boxing Day sale and I think I might buy another $150 worth of uh, random junk. And maybe by then the other missing items will arrive because that would be nice to finish up some of this stuff a little bit. Thank you for watching. Comment below, like, subscribe. And as always, good luck.